But uh, I want to weigh in on, uh, I know you've talked a lot about Bob Saget this morning, and I want to weigh in myself because he and I were, were pretty good friends. You can see we worked together a number of times. And just the greatest guy, but I have a really funny Bob Saget story that people don't know. This is when he was a young comedian, uh, early 20s, and it's the late yeah. 70s, and he got to meet Buddy Hackett. Now, if you don't know who Buddy Hackett is, we'll show you a picture. He was a very famous comedian back then. And he was known for being a little dirty, a little blue. Oh, uh, yeah. So Bob's got a couple of dirty jokes, which he loved. And he thought he would go up and tell Buddy Hackett the two jokes. Tells him one, doesn't get much of a reaction. Tells him the other one. And Buddy Hackett just looks at him and goes, you think that's funny? <laughs> it just totally shamed him. <laughs> oh, like no. the filthiest, <laughs> biggest comedian ever. Oh. And just totally shamed him for the two jokes. Oh, oh God. And, sure. and like, they're not for air, but they're also very sure. funny jokes. But. You just worked with Bob a couple weeks yeah. ago, right? No, a couple months ago. Oh. The last time I talked to him was Halloween. So just, you know, just seemed like such a great guy every was. time he was he on. Was. And the nicest thing about it, every time I worked with him, you know, I would get off stage and they would play this music and Bob would come on stage. And the first thing he said all the time was, you know, how about another hand for, you know, from, yeah. from me and get them. That's so great. Yeah, uh, just a really super good So idea. sad. Thanks, Mike.